YouTube, what's the deal, man? I'm back. Got some more content for y'all. We going back into that season, you know, that February, March, April, May. For some reason, I feel most productive in those months. Uh, I got a little short, quick video, but uh, hopefully it'll be helpful for people out there. If you don't know, uh, I shoot music videos, and the part that I struggle with the most is my color correction. Color correction, I can never nail exactly what I'm looking for. But with this trick that I'm going to show you right here, hopefully it'll help you out like it helped me out and help you bring your vision to life. So, let's jump into it. Okay, you're going to need Lightroom off the muscle. I want to tell you, you're going to need Lightroom right now. It doesn't matter what, you know, editing program you use. You can use Premiere, Sony Vegas, Final Cut, whatever. But you're going to need Lightroom. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to grab a screenshot of the video that you want to color so for me I have a video that I shot back in December if you haven't check it out I'll link it in the description or something but it's called uh, Chili and Dabu it's by my homeboy uh, asshole and gold super dope artist out of Houston man He's making a lot of noise right now if you get the chance check it out but what you want to do is you want to find your clip in the video you want to find a part you know that's you know just a dope screen grab or something with a wide range of colors you see you got the brown in the guitar you got the blue in the jacket the yellow in the bandana and the red in this shirt got the sun got some shadows over here to the left so this would be you know an ideal shot that you would want to use to use the color so what you want to do is you want to grab the screen grab okay I'm gonna use that part if you're in final clip you go up to the top right go down save current frame Okay, we're gonna call this for color. <laughs> Real creative, huh? Save the screen grab. Save it to the desktop so it's easy to find. Okay, so this next part is almost the most important part. You're gonna need this program. It's a LUT generator for Mac. I'll also leave the link to their website because they have a version for PC and a version for Mac. So if you're on Mac, get the Mac version. If you're on PC, get the PC version. The program is called LUT generator. Okay, so you're gonna get a folder. Open the folder up. It's gonna be a DMG. You double click it. See it right there loading up. Okay, you're gonna get this. Double click that. Blah, blah, blah. You know, dial off the internet. Cool, open it. Boom, and there it is. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to click Generate Hall right here. Okay, I'm going to tell mine to save to the desktop. Click Open, and boom. I don't know the default name that it's going to give you, but you should only have one picture that looked like this on your desktop. So from here, what I like to do is change the name of both of them, the uh, hall and the picture. I'm going to name them both CC. Because sometimes when you drag pictures in the Lightroom, you don't, they don't show up because there's one already with that name, so it doesn't import it. So that's just a quick side note for you right there. Okay, so now I'm going to drag both of the pictures, the hall and the screen grab, into Lightroom. Import it. There it goes. Click import, bottom right. And boom, there it is. Okay, we're going to go to our screenshot. Okay, for time's sake, I'm just going to do a quick, you know, something quick. Uh slap vibrant on it okay mess with the curves a little bit bring that down i like to drop my highlights a lot uh crush the whites a little bit boost a little bit on the clarity you know whatever or if you got LUTs or something you bought some peter mckinnon LUTs, anything you know something like that you'll be able to apply the same thing using LUTs. only thing that doesn't work is something like sharpening and uh, the lens correction, but other than that you can go crazy say for instance We wanted to make the yellow stand out a little bit more We'll go right here under the HSL tab go to the yellows Boost the yellows a little bit go to the blues. Let's see see how we uh drop the blue tab all the way down and the blue in his jacket Turned all the way black. You can mess with stuff like that. Okay, I'm gonna push the blue back up in his jacket make it a little bit darker okay and anything else you know let's drop the saturation a little bit crush the blacks a little bit more uh, okay and that's it we'll just rock with that for now so moving right on okay say we got the color this is the color we decided to go with for the video and this is what we want to you know make our video look like okay so what we want to do now 
make sure you clicked on the image press command C gonna copy all of that click copy now you're gonna go over to your hall click your hall and then press command V all those settings all those changes that we made to our original image here is now copied over until our hall here okay so we got the color copy to the hall now you want to bump it out let's go file export okay we're gonna give it a name let's say uh, color <laughs> for video all right we got color for video we're gonna tell it the desktop as well it's already set to go to the desktop click export and now we have a hall on the desktop with the name that we named it color for video if you pull them side by side you'll see they look similar but the name is different so that's how you know that's the one that you want okay so now you want to go back to the LUT generator program now click convert to cube it's asking you what hall do you want to turn into the cube I'm sorry so now you click color for video open okay done operation completed successfully so now we have here a dot cube file color for video and dot cube is basically the LUT so now we're gonna jump back in the final cut okay you want to go over here to your effects type in LUT drag the custom LUT onto the clip or to your uh, what do you call it adjustment layer I have a video on adjustment layer as well I'll uh, link it up in the video okay let's go and find our look go down click custom LUT go to desktop and here's that dot cube file color for video click it open and that's the color we have sometimes it may come on a little strong so you can dial it back a little bit right here on the mix boost saturation or do whatever you feel is necessary and that's how you use Lightroom to make a LUT like I said it's great to use Lightroom I know there's other ways you can do it but Lightroom is my favorite and it's the fastest way so that's that this was catch the shooter I'm coming with a lot more content this week, a lot more content next week. Hit me up on Instagram, hit me up on Facebook, hit me up on whatever you use. Catch the Shooter, signing out. Peace.